Hey everybody, welcome to The Hidden Chest, a spoiler-free showcase of overlooked and or underrated games. And tell me, have you ever witnessed something so beautiful in its simplicity that you remembered it for years on end? Like a beautiful abstract painting, a short poem, that one commercial on Nickelodeon where silverware raps about breakfast for a solid minute straight. But we don't talk about that one. And then there's VVVVVV, a game that falls under this category so much so that, uh, well, look at it. Here's the main character. I suck at art, and this is something even I could have designed. Oh, and the rest of the cast? They look exactly the same. That's simple, alright. <laughs> but underneath that goofy smile and those soulless eyes lies one of the best early indie games out there, with extremely tight design and a beautifully psychedelic pixelated aesthetic. I played this game over a decade ago, and it stuck with me ever since. Let's find out why. <laughs> So, what exactly are we doing? Well, you're Captain Viridian, and your spaceship has crashed into an alternate dimension and your crew of identical multicolored clones have gone missing, oh no. You've gotta rescue them with jaw-dropping gravitational manipulation maneuvers. The controls? You can go left, you can go right. Click the action button and you'll flip your own personal gravity. That's literally everything other than pausing. You think this is barely anything to work with, but that's where VVVVVV proves you wrong. Or as I'm going to call it from now on, V6. Because I'm not crazy. The simple mechanic of gravity flipping is so thoroughly explored, and in so many different ways that it never feels repetitive. Teleportation, bouncing barriers, escorting this dunderhead, it's crazy fun. While the entire experience is really short, it just flawlessly fills out the time you put into it with a barrage of new obstacles and mechanics. For example, this semi-open world you go around in is filled to the brim with stuff that'll try to kill you. Even if it doesn't make any sense and is giving me brain rot. Flying stop signs, a megaphone shooting out the word lies over and over again. A spooky ghost, ooh. I also love how every screen has its own little nickname. Sometimes it's a pun, sometimes I don't even know. It's just really cute and I love it. There's just so much vibrant color here, I just can't get enough of it. It's like platforming through a kaleidoscope rendered on the Commodore 64, but with better graphics and a baller musical score. Yeah, if you're a fan of modern retro gaming style music, this is one of the best soundtracks of all time. In that genre. Also, maybe in general, I don't know. It's just, well, take a listen. So good! It's part of the way this game motivates you, despite the staggering difficulty. Like with all great games where you die a lot, in V6 you respawn very quickly and have infinite lives. But V6 is very old by indie standards, and the controls aren't quite as polished as modern platformers of the same ilk. Like, you're a wee bit slippery, and getting a handle on moving left and right in the air is a bit tricky at first, but the entire experience is designed around this, so that's not really much of a problem. However, if you want even more challenge, you can collect all the optional shiny trinkets. Collecting them all grants you an awesome reward, but some of them are downright ghoulish. If you haven't heard of the doing things the hard way challenge, congratulations on living a happy and fulfilling life. 
Seriously though, these are a really fun thing to get, but they are extremely difficult. Just keep that in mind if you're the type of person who likes to 100% things. So when it comes to recommending V6 personally, I love this game, but it only takes around two to three hours to beat. I have a blast every second of it, mind you, but that doesn't stop the fact that you need to shill out five bucks to buy it on Steam. Or if you want the definitive edition on Switch, it'll take $10. This version, while adding a silky smooth 60 frames per second, local co-op, and the ability to play the whole thing portably, probably isn't really worth $10. It's hard to say, really. I'm extremely nostalgic towards this game. So much so that when I first started this YouTube channel, I made a Let's Play of it. And today, we're gonna be playing... A throwback to uh, games of yore, as it were, before it was totally overdone. But I like to pretend that that doesn't exist. At least, that's what my therapist says I should do. As of this video, I have now officially beaten V6 on four separate occasions. So, I mean, it's probably worth checking out, I don't know. I haven't seen this much flipping off since I watched that breakfast rap on Nickelodeon. Breakfast time, yeah, breakfast time. Feed your body and feed your mind. Make your muscles big and strong. Keeps you going all day long. Somebody end my suffering. Banana yoga fruit shake, silver dollar pancake. It's over easy, bagel and cream cheese. Scrambled eggs and 